All right. Uh, great defense for pre prepping for this week in Baltimore. Uh, physical defense. Uh, they played really hard. Um, very, you know, very aggressive defense. Got a lot of respect for the way that they're coached. And, uh, you know, we're, we're knee deep in preparation right now. Our guys are going to have to put their best foot forward. And uh, we're up for the challenge. So with that, any questions? When it, when it comes to Baltimore, they're sort of known for their different blitzes. I guess what, what's sort of the, the key point for your offensive line to handle when you know that there's going to be people coming from all over the field? Yes. Um, well, number one is uh, just in our preparation. We got to give them, got to give them those looks in practice. Our, our, you know, our defense does a great job of giving us those looks. And Kenny was just in here. He's, he's, he's number one. I love the way he practices. But um, just spending time in preparation, watching the film, you know, reenacting it on the practice field. And uh, just preparing for pressure. Hey Clint, what was your evaluation just of the run game from from Sunday, and then what do you guys maybe need to do to get that going earlier and down? Yeah, I think I think uh, you know we always try to be better. It's got to be part of our identity. And uh, didn't get didn't you know run it the way we wanted to last week. I think Dalvin has done a great job. Got to give him more opportunities moving forward. Um, I guess the main reason that there were as many checkdowns as there were uh, on Sunday. Yeah, you know, I think uh, number one, we you know we took some shots, took some shots early. We didn't, we hit on some of them. You know, hit at them. Uh, you know, missed JJ by a fingernail, and uh, you know, uh, probably had some more opportunities to do so. But but they, we, we didn't hit them. And then you know, you get to uh, the to Dallas. They did a good job. You know, playing some shell coverage and and taking some things away. But you know, there's always more opportunities to push the ball down the field. And uh, you know, with our with our great skill group, you know, always got to be more cognizant of doing so. You talked about giving Dalvin Cook more opportunities. Obviously, his uh, you know catches are down in you know recent games. I think he had six in the opener and not more than two in any game since then. Why have his, has his catches been down, and how important is it to get that aspect going again? Yeah, you know I think uh, just got to keep finding ways to get him the football. Obviously in the run game, but uh, you know I think there's times where there's more there's more checkdowns that go to him in some games. You know I think. Uh, um, Especially on, on third downs when the teams are playing a lot of zone, we end up getting him the ball. But I think you know we're just always looking for more ways to get him involved. Yeah. Kirk, you said there's more opportunities to get the ball down the field. Is that up to you or is that up to Kirk? Oh, it's, it's a group effort, and it, it all falls on me at the end of the day. Did you did you just say Willikis practices really well? Is, is that correct? Yes. yes. Why why do you say that, or why does that stand out to you? Um, because he's the hardest playing Jesse out there. I mean. He loves football. He's he's up the field. He's disrupting plays. Um, he's got passion for the game. Um, I love the way that guy plays football, and he just uh, brings a lot of energy to our team. He makes it hard on us as an offense, which I also appreciate. Makes our guys work. What did you see from from Christian and the way he battled all game against a really tough guy in Gregory? Yeah, Christian has done done a good job. He's um, continues to impress, and he continues to show us there's even more improvement to go there. So we're. Um, just keep coaching them and keep getting them better and keep getting them experience. You know there are there have been, you know, some hiccups here and there to be expected, but we're not gonna, you know, we're, uh, we're gonna be hard on them and want them to be better for those. But overall, I'm I'm pleased with his, the way he's come out and helped our team these last couple of games. Hey Clint, what do you remember from that 2013 game at Baltimore with the snow and something like four TDs in the last two minutes? I mean, what are your kind of memories of that wacko game? Yeah, that's a great great one to bring up. I uh, remember just. Obviously, the weather being what it was, I remember Cordero going off and making some huge plays. Um, you know, I just remember watching Greg Jennings skate around, not letting the uh, elements hurt him too much. Uh, the main thing I just remember was one of the few games I've been in where the snow was that thick, and uh, it was it was a fun game. I know it came down to the wire; we didn't get it done, but uh, Cordero scooting across the yard multiple times sticks out in my mind. Um, Clint, where does Wyatt Davis stand in terms of his development, and what does he need to do to uh, be active on game days? Yeah, Wyatt is—he's uh, really working his tail off. You know, he's got some guys in front of him, um, but you know, when you feel very confident when called upon, that he'll go in and help us win games. Uh, you mentioned development. I think that's key right now that we keep getting him involved in practice reps and uh, keep getting him better. Um, but uh, he's doing all the work. Uh, really pleased with where he's at. And I know he's got a bright future for the organization. I know you're obviously looking at their defense, but over the years, have you gotten the chance to see much of their offense in Baltimore and just kind of how unique it is and how Lamar kind of makes that thing go? Yeah, definitely, definitely watch their crossover tape uh, very often. You know, there's just 
seems like there's one Lamar Jackson right now in the world. He's he's one of the best, you know, best athletes in, in the free world. He's a, he's a great player, and they do a great job of uh, scheming scheming things up for him. Um, but uh, yeah, he's he's going to be a lot to handle. I know all our focus right now is is on the defensive side of the ball. Clint, as you as you look at all those third downs, you know, after that first one, um, yeah. what were some of the problems that you got to correct? Yeah, yeah, there's 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 plenty to un- unwrap there. And the number one thing is that there, you know there's some plays to be made that we got to make. Got to make some contested plays, and got to be aggressive on some plays. Got to be, you know, got to be more aggressive on some play calls. You know, so it's a combination of guys making plays, us getting them in better position as coaches, and um, you know that's it's something that we're definitely making a major point of emphasis. It's always a point of emphasis. It's third down, but uh, disappointing to go out and. Make that first third down, and then and then not get one from there. So we got to be better there. One thing that they appear to have struggled with is yards allowed after catches. How does that, when you see a team that has struggled with that for a few games, uh, play into the thing? Yeah, I think I think they're just so aggressive. They're an aggressive defense, and they're going to play a lot of man coverage. They're going to play a lot of you know a lot of defense without a safety in the middle of the field. So there there could be opportunities there, but uh, you know our guys are. Always, each and every week, we're harping yards after the catch, yards after contact, and our assistant coaches do a great job of that. So, uh, you know, we have to, you know, take advantage of those opportunities and protect the football. Thanks. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.